A supermassive black hole has mysteriously changed its direction and is now pointing at us. Yes, you got it right by the title of this video. The black hole is moving right towards our native Earth. This unprecedented event plunged scientists into amazement and intrigue. This is something that astronomers have never seen in the universe. The galaxy in which this supermassive black hole is located has been reclassified due to a change in the direction of the jet at its core. This discovery could pave the way for a groundbreaking understanding of black hole physics, especially high-energy physics involving the behavior of subatomic particles at extreme energy levels. But the question is, how did astronomers know that the black hole had changed its direction? How are exotic energy jets created in general? Finally, and most importantly, does this event pose any threat to our planet? I welcome everyone to the Space Stop channel. In this video, we will try to answer all these questions. Before I start, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel, because every video is a lot of work done. Well, I wish you a pleasant viewing. Before proceeding to the opening, let's figure out what AGN is. The active galactic nucleus, or AGN, is an exceptionally bright compact region located in the center of the galaxy, emitting radiation in the entire electromagnetic spectrum. The intense AGN radiation is generated by material falling into an accretion disk, a disk of rotating gas and dust that surrounds a black hole in the galactic core. A galaxy containing AGN is called an active galaxy, and the central object is called a nucleus. When matter does not fall directly into the black hole, some particles accelerate to high speeds in a strong magnetic field, which leads to the outflow of ionized matter along the black hole. It usually emits radio waves due to synchrotron radiation, forming double narrow beams of high-energy particles known as jets, which can spread beyond the galaxy itself. These jets create two lobe-like structures on opposite sides perpendicular to the accretion disk. If these twin jets rush straight up in the plane of the sky visible from our planet, we call them radio galaxies. If they are slightly tilted towards us, we call them quasars. And finally, if these jets are directed at us, oriented within our line of sight, we classify them as blazars. One of the amazing features of these jets is that they confirm a key prediction of Einstein's special theory of relativity. This effect causes any source moving towards us to appear brighter, while any source moving away from us appears dimmer. Consequently, a jet relatively directed in our direction will appear brighter because of the particles inside it approaching us. Conversely, a jet directed away from us will appear dimmer as its particles move away. Take, for example, the galaxy M87. We can observe its jet 5,000 light years long, which is directed towards us at an angle. The substance inside this jet moves at speeds close to the speed of light, as a result of which its properties are determined by the special theory of relativity. However, there is another jet in the galaxy, oriented in the opposite direction from us. Due to relativistic radiation, the intensity of this jet decreases, which makes it less noticeable and difficult to observe. However, both jet planes are oriented almost perpendicular to our line of sight in the plane of the sky. As a result, it is classified as a radio galaxy in which both jets are visible. The upper jet is slightly tilted towards us, which makes it seem brighter. Although astronomers have been studying AGN jets for decades, this discovery threw them into amazement. For the first time in the history of astronomy, they observed a jet of a black hole changing its direction. For the first time in the history of astronomy, they observed a jet of a black hole changing its direction. An international team of astronomers has discovered a galaxy with a jet that has changed direction. The galaxy is located at a distance of 657 million light years from us with a redshift. For simplicity in the video, let's call it PBC. The radio map obtained using the Very Large Array Telescope shows that the galaxy and its jets extend for about one whole, two tenths of a megaparsec, or about four million light years, classifying it as a giant radio galaxy. To make this discovery, astronomers analyzed the light curves of AGN at various wavelengths studying the behavior of its emissions. The light curves are, in fact, graphs of changes over time. 
during two observation periods in the 2018th and 2019th years. They found that three flares occurred in the AGN core, which represent radiation emissions potentially caused by the resumption of nuclear activity in the core. There were three important things hinting that the jets of the black hole had turned over and were now directed in our direction. The first clue was obtained due to the optical variability of the blazar. Optical variability refers to changes in the flow and amplitude of peaks in the visible wave range. Compared with other blazars and AGN, the optical variability of PBC corresponded to the population of blazars. The overlap between these two categories occurs because blazars can be classified as AGNs during periods when they do not flare up. Despite this coincidence, the properties of PBC coincide with the properties of the population of blazars. The second hint appeared when determining the jet angle, which is the angle of inclination of the jet relative to the observer's line of sight. By studying the spectral distribution of PBC energy, astronomers have created various models with different jet angles to match the observations. Among these models, the results obtained corresponded to a model with a jet angle of 3 degrees. When the angle of inclination of the jet is 3 degrees, it means that the jet is almost directed at us, classifying the AGN as a blaze R, as discussed earlier. The third and final clue was obtained as a result of studying the lobes and the nucleus. The radio image of the PBC galaxy reveals an important detail. The central circular region represents the core of the AGN, while two diagonally opposite regions are lobes. There is no connection between the lobes and the nucleus, which indicates that the nucleus does not emit radiation into the lobes. This suggests that the observed petals are remnants of old jets, while the light curves and the angle of inclination of the jet of three degrees correspond to a new pair of jets. The most pressing question now is, what caused the change in the direction of the jets? The exact reason for the change in the direction of the jets remains unknown, but several options have been proposed. There is a class of radio galaxies known as shaped or winged radio galaxies, which have two pairs of jets in the plane of the sky, very similar in shape to the letter X. Among the displaced pairs of radio waves, the farthest correspond to the oldest jet emissions, while the lobes located closer to the core represent younger and more active jets. The PBC galaxy does not have an shaped shape, perhaps because the new jets are directed in our direction. Previous studies of shaped galaxies suggested that the reason for the change in the direction of the jet could be the merger of black holes or the absorption of a smaller galaxy. During the merger, a smaller black hole is deposited next to a larger one. This process led to a rearrangement of the axis of rotation of the larger black hole. However, no matter how convincing this explanation may be, the study of the PBC galaxy in the year 2017 did not reveal any evidence of merger activity. Other potential reasons for the jet direction change include the resumption of nuclear activity during which the jet axis processes, the reverse flow of gas along the active lobes into the core, and the deforming instability of the accretion disk. Further detailed studies may provide answers to this rare phenomenon of jet rearrangement. Finally, does this system pose any danger to us, given that its jet is directed in our direction? The answer is number. The radiation of these energy jets will not have any effect on us. This is due to the fact that when the radiation overcomes this huge distance to reach us, it will lose all its energy due to redshift, so there's nothing to worry about. The distance is too great for us to worry about anything. These radiations will take millions of years to reach us, and during this time they will simply disappear into the vastness of space. As before, the universe remains extremely mysterious for all mankind. We do not know what the next danger we should expect, how time works, whether we are alone in the universe. The answer to all these questions has been bothering scientists for many years. In the future, we will definitely find out the answers to all these questions. Because the modern world does not stand still and astronomers make new discoveries every year. What is the James Webb Telescope worth? Thanks to which we regularly learn something new about the cosmos. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if that's really the case, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. 
I was glad to be with you throughout the video. We are not saying goodbye. We will see you in the new video.